Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Rickmaster Nate, and today I have an unboxing video of the LEGO Speed Champions Nissan GTR Nismo. So this set retails for $20 and has 298 pieces. The front of the box shows off the set and also has the Speed Champions and the GTR Nismo logos. And the back of the box shows off the set from a few different angles and what the car looks like in real life. All right, let's get into the box. All right, so here's everything that was inside. There were these two bags and there was also the instruction booklet and there was this loose piece. And there was also this humongous sticker sheet. Okay, let's get to the speed build. So first, let's take a look at the minifigure. So he comes with this white suit and he has a yellow face and this tan hairpiece. His face is really simple and I feel like you would see it a lot throughout Lego City sets. And he also comes with this helmet that you can place on his head instead of this hairpiece. The pattern on his suit looks pretty cool. He also has printing on his hip piece right there. And there are also some words that are printed on his legs. He also comes with this wrench and it's nothing special, but there is a reason why it was included with this set and I'll show you why in a little bit. Now let's take a look at the car. This was a very, very nice build. There were a ton of unique building techniques and there were also many, many stickers in the set. On the side, you can see most of the stickers. There are some on the front as well. And there's even a couple on the back. These one by six tiles are printed and you can remove this whole see-through piece to reveal the inside of the car. So there's this red seat and you can take the minifigure and place him in either the left or the right side. There's also a steering wheel right here, but something that I never liked about this new scale in Speed Champions is that the steering wheel isn't aligned with the minifigure. As you can see, it's a little bit offset and it should be more in between the minifigure's arms. The front of the car uses a lot of slope pieces and has a lot of cool angles. One thing that I didn't like about the design is that the headlights are stickers and I feel like they're really small and to me it just looks a little bit weird. One good thing though is that this piece is printed and it looks pretty cool. There's some shiny details right there. And even this piece right here is at an angle so you can push it down a little bit more like that and it makes it look that much better. 
I think the back is my favorite part of this whole set. I think it looks really, really nice. A cool building technique is actually on the bottom right here. So there are some of these pieces right here. And underneath that, there's this bar. And these pieces attached to it, they have this clip and also this cheese slope. And they attach to the bar just like that. And it makes this really cool design that you see here. And I think it looks really, really cool and it was fun to build. I also like how the tail lights are at an angle. And even though they're raised up a little bit, you can see that stud right there underneath it. But it still looks pretty clean and it's pretty unnoticeable. The spoiler here looks pretty cool as well. However, it's pretty fragile. If you're trying to adjust something here, it's really easy to just knock it off like that because it's only held in by these two studs. Another really nice building technique was this window back here. It uses some of these angled bricks and there's nothing really inside. It's just a couple of studs and some more slopes but as you can see these pieces just fold down like that and it looks really cool it's at a really good angle and it's really smooth the wheels look pretty cool they're just attached using this axle and pin and the set comes with alternate rims and the way that you would take this out is by actually using the wrench that's included. So what you would do is you would flip this wheel upside down and just shove the tire into this Technic hole. And it will push out this piece so that you can replace it with the new one. And you would place it on just like before. And there you go, now it's replaced. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Also, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out my other LEGO Speed Champion sets. Thanks for watching, bye.